Hello guys and welcome to Python Programming Tutorials by Amulya's Academy. Today in this tutorial we will write a Python program to change the case of alphabets of given string. So the input of this program is a string. For example here I will take a string. This input string contains both the uppercase letter as well as lowercase letter right. When we want to change the case of alphabet of given string, then we can do that in different ways. The first way is we can convert all the alphabet of given string to uppercase. So we'll get output like this. My name is. Or we can convert the string to lowercase, all the alphabet to lowercase like this. Or we can swap the case of the alphabets of given string like this here in my m is capital so here it will swap that so it will become lowercase here y is a small letter so it will become uppercase name is a is capital so it will become small and rest is capital here everything is small okay it will swap the case of the alphabets if in the input lowercase letters are present it will convert that to uppercase if the uppercase letters are present, it will convert that to lowercase. And lastly, I can make the first letter of each word as the capital letter. For example, like this, my is capital, name is, in name n is capital, i is capital, s is capital, like this. So while coming to the changing the case of the alphabet, we can change the case of the alphabet of given string in four ways. One is we can convert all the alphabet to uppercase and the one is we can change all the alphabet to lowercase or we can swap the case or we can make the first letter of each word as the capital and rest letters are in the lowercase. So to do this to change the case to uppercase or lowercase or swap the case or uh, to do this to make the first letter of each word as capital we'll use the methods of string. So string has different method. We will use string methods to perform this operation. So if I want to change all the alphabet of the given input to uppercase, then I'll use the string method upper. If I want to change it to lowercase, then I can use lower method. If I want to swap the case, I can use swap case method. Or if I want to do this, if I want to change the first letter of each word to uppercase letter, then I can use title method. So using these string methods we can change the case of the given string. Now all these methods returns the new string. It won't change the original string. It will return the new string. So this is about the input and output of the program. Here we want to do four operation. That is we want to change the alphabet of the given string to uppercase. Next lowercase, next we need to swap the case, next we need to change the first letter of each word to uppercase. Alright, so let's write the program. So in our program the input is nothing but a string. So let's take the string input. So in the python file, let me take a variable str1 to store the user entered input and to take the input I'll use input function and here I'll write a message, enter the string the input string and here I am using python 3 and in python 3 by default this input function will take input as the string value and here we want string input. So no need to do any changes here. We are done with the input. Next step is we need to perform four operation right that is we want to convert the alphabet of given input to uppercase, lowercase, we want to swap the case or we want to change the first letter of each word to uppercase. We want to perform four operation. So what I'll do is I'll ask the user to choose the operation which he want to perform. We'll ask the user to select the operation which operation he want to perform. For that first let me print the operation available here in this program. The first one is we can convert the letter to uppercase. So I'll give the operation name as upper. Second one is lower. Third one is we can swap the case. And the fourth operation is we can change first letter of each word to uppercase. I'll take that operation name as title. Next let's take the input from the user which operation he or she want to perform. So for that I'll take a variable and here I'll take int input select the operation. 
All right, what we are doing is here we'll display this. We have these four operations, select the operation. Now we need input, right? User will enter which operation he want to do, one or two or three or four. These are the integer number. That's why we are taking the integer input here. Select the operation and that user entered input will be stored in the variable n. Here we need integer input. That's why we are converting the input to int using int function. Now, if user select the first operation, that is he want to convert the alphabet of given string to uppercase, then I need to perform some operation. If he selects two, I need to perform some operation. If he selects option three, we need to perform some different operation. If he select four, we need to perform some different operation. So we need to perform different operation when he choose the different option, right? To do that, we'll use if elif else conditional statement here. If user enters one, if n is one, then he want to convert the alphabet of given input to uppercase, right? If n is equal to one, what I'll do is str one, that is the given string dot upper method. Okay, it will convert the alphabet of given string to uppercase, but this method will return the new string. It won't modify the original string. It will return the new string. That's why I'll print this output here. So what will happen is when the user select the option as one, that is he want to convert the alphabet of given string to uppercase, this will execute. It will convert the alphabet of given string to uppercase and it will print that. Next, elif else if n is not one, if he enters two, then what I need to do, I need to convert str1 to lowercase. That's why I'll use lower method, but this lower method will return the new string. So I'll print that. Whatever the result will return from this method, we are printing that. That is nothing but it will convert the alphabet of given string to lowercase and we'll print that. Next, elif. If n is equal to 3. Third op operation is swap case. We need to swap the case of the alphabet of given string. So for that, we'll use swap case method. So print str1 dot swap case. Okay, it will swap the case. If the alphabet of given string is lowercase, it will convert that to uppercase. If the alphabet of input is uppercase, it will convert that to lowercase. It will swap that. Next, elif. If n is equal to 4, the option is 4. That is, I want to convert the first letter of each word to uppercase. So for that, we are using title method, str1.title. Sorry, here you need to use elif. If user enter input other than 1, 2, 3, 4, then we need to ask the user to enter the correct option. So now let's execute this, save and execute. Enter the string. So I'll enter my input string that is enter the option, select the operation. So first I want to do this uppercase letter. So I'll select one. My name is Amolia Shetty. It will convert all the alphabet of given string to uppercase and it will stop the execution of the program, right? In this program, we are getting the output, but the problem is it will do only one operation one time, right? When I execute this program, it will ask you to select the operation. If I select upper, it will do that operation and it will end the execution of the program. That's how if elif else conditional statement works, right? Now, if I want to continuously execute all the operation and I want to quit the program when I want, we can do that. For that, first we need to cut this. So let me cut the code and I need to use a loop here. We'll use while loop, while true. So that means it is always true. It will continuously execute the code inside this. So next we'll copy this code and indent it correctly. Otherwise you'll get indentation error. And here we'll enter another uh, operation that is quit. If I want to quit, I can do this. So here, we need to enter another condition elif if n is equal to 5 that is if i want to quit i can use break statement here what this break statement will do is whenever this condition becomes true break statement will come out of the loop that is nothing but after executing this it will come out of the loop and it will execute the statement present after the while loop here we don't have any statement after the while loop so it will stop the execution of the program so let's execute and see so enter the string, I'll enter same string here. Which operation you want to perform? I want to perform upper. So it will perform my name is Amulya Shetty and it will again ask which operation you want to perform. If I do lower, 
so it will convert the input to lower case here you can see i guess if i want to swap the case so here we can see this is the input and this is the output here we can see the alphabets are swapped or if i want title fourth operation here we can see uh, the first letter of each word is in the upper case or if i want to again lower here you can see or if i want to quit right it will quit the program the important thing is here the every operation is returning a new string it won't affect the original string it won't modify the original string okay so in this way we can change the case of the given string so that's it for now guys thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel i will meet you in next class till then take care